Kendall Reyes, uh, second round pick. 17th in this round for us. Defensive end from UConn. Feel good about it. Athletic guy, speed, burst, athleticism. I think it all, you know, stands out for us. Uh, guy, 299, 300 pounds, ran 482. I mean, the quickness, the energy he plays with is something that was appealing to us. You know, we were looking to improve the front. You know, we want to improve the front seven. He was a guy as a defensive lineman that we had highly rated, and we thought he fit with what we like to do. Uh, we should obviously see him as an end playing in a 34, kicking down, playing over an uh, offensive guard in, a, in what we'd call a three technique. But uh, where he can have a, an impact uh, early, uh, I personally believe, I think our our coaches believe is in our sub packages as an interior rusher, as an inside rusher. He, he showed outstanding uh, pass rush ability in the senior bowl, uh, but throughout all his tape. Uh, and he's a very athletic guy. So we've added two guys that when they're on the field will do, do a great job of chasing down the quarterback when we're able to get pressure on them, uh, making plays, uh, you know, from sideline to sideline type guys. Made the move to trade up to uh, take Brandon Taylor in the third round. Uh, it's a guy we liked, that we coveted. Uh, as you all know, is a position that of need for us. Uh, we're looking to add depth at that position, to add a, a player at strong safety. And he was a player we really liked from the beginning. And we feel he has a lot of leadership qualities, good player, um, highly regarded at LSU. And we feel he's going to add to our depth. Uh, he's a guy that plays hard. He brings a lot of energy. Uh, he's a physical guy. You know, if you watch him on some of the highlights, he's all over the field. He makes a lot of tackles. Uh, he's an intangible guy. Um, you know, great leadership. He's a locker room guy. You know, just highly respected at LSU. There's a, you know, there's a theme going through our draft, obviously, and that's productive players. And you take a player in Brandon that's uh, the, the leader of – a team that was driven by its defense, and he's been a, a leader of that team, that defensive team, uh, over the last two or three years. Uh, uh, like Jimmy said, uh, you know, our coaches uh, thought he had great production, uh, great awareness, uh, has early in his career was a corner that moved to safety, uh, so he's got uh, very good athletic ability. The, the key to me is we've got we've got three very athletic players that have had great production in college. Uh, I think they all come in and are able to contribute and, and to compete uh, right away. Uh, it, it wouldn't bother me a bit if we had another defensive player. Uh, you know, there are other areas that we're going to look. Uh, you know, so, so we just need to keep doing what we've done and, and uh, uh, you know, go through each position and, and, and what's available and pick the guy that fits us best.